Hello everyone, welcome to 30 Nights of Hell, where we're going to be discussing and reviewing 30 horror movies. You know, some of these are going to be, you know, a little more mainstream, you might have seen them already. Some of these are going to be, you know, what I consider uh, hidden gems. You know, some, some scarier than other ones, some a little maybe gorier than other ones. But they're all in the horror genre, you know what I mean? There's, it, the horror genre just expands... It, the it's it's so wide you know what I mean that's just how it is here here's my guarantee though I'm gonna I'm gonna guarantee you right now no spoilers you know so let's get into our very first movie hereditary or should I say her head a Terry nah, I already fucked up huh I already fucked up all right let's be real it's you know I'm some of these movies I'm not gonna be able to explain without uh spoilers or or anything like that so and they're horror movies, you know. Do you, do you really need to not be spoiled? It's just they're just fun to watch. So let's, so grow up. Come on, just grow up. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about Hereditary. What can I say about this movie that hasn't already been said? I actually I don't know what's been said about this movie. I think it's got high, high praise, but I don't I don't pay attention too much about that stuff. It's just like if I see a trailer and I'm like that looks good, and then once I see it, I'm like holy shit, that was fucking great, and that's that's the end of it, you know. I mean, all I can say is, uh, you know, I've seen it, and I fucking love this movie. All right, how, how, how can I explain this movie? So it's one of those movies that you don't see very often, okay? It's a horror movie that's actually scary and is, is very well acted. You don't see that too much. Usually you, you get, like, you know, some cheesy acting, some gore or, or whatever it might be, you know? But with this, it's like you're in it. There's a there's a story to be told, and 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 the story could be you know it it, it all depends how you see it. Storyline can be kind of weak. However, the acting more than makes up for this shit. Okay, let's 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 try to go down the line on on what happens in this movie a little bit. I'm I don't want to get too deep into it because I could fucking talk about this movie for for fucking ever. This lady right here. What's I I don't I can't remember her name in the in the movie. Um. I think her real name's Tony. Yeah, Tony Collette, right? So Tony Collette's mom dies. I don't even think they show her mom at all. It's it's just like the beginning of the movie. Her her mom's dead. They're at her funeral, and you see these people in the audience, and they're you know, as as she's giving her speech, they're smiling like that's. I remember the first time seeing that in the theater, and, and I'm like. That that just got me uneasy right away. Like it was like, what what the fuck are you? If I'm giving a fucking speech, if if my mom passed away, you know, God forbid, or or whoever forbid, whoever you believe in, and there's people in the audience smiling at me, I don't like that. Don't be fucking creepy, dude. Be a fucking man. You know, cry. You know what I mean? I want to see you crying and shit. I want to see you smiling at me. That's some bullshit. This is a funeral, you know. So there's all these people walking around smiling and shit like that whatever whatever they get home her daughter's acting weird and, and saying like oh who's gonna take care of me now tony collette's like uh yeah i'm your mom like i'll take care of you fuckhead okay so it turns out her mom was in a cult okay and this cult wants to create well they don't want to create they want to uh summon a demon this demon i believe it's goes by the name of uh pagan or something like that so they you know i guess they 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 made this plan where there has to be sacrifices this and this blah 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 long story short her mom sacrifices herself to be a part of this ritual because along the line you know people have to die so you know tony collette's young daughter god rest her soul you know in the movie she's still alive you know very very uh talented actress she gets she tragically passes away in the movie and that that's what 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 throws you off in the trailer okay so you you uh 
you know, she's in the movie, you know, fucking 20 minutes or something. Her mom tells her brother, tells her son, hey, take your sister to this party with you. You guys are going to have fun. She looks like she's 12. He looks like he's about 17 or something. 16, 17. And the mom's like, hey, take your sister to this party. Don't be an asshole, man. This guy's going to try to, you know, he's going to try to get high. He's going to he's going to try to get laid. And sure enough, that's what he was doing. It's exactly what he was doing. So here's what happened. Young girl cannot eat nuts. The, 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 like, I, I know I'm not really explaining the movie at this point. I'm just explaining scenes. But the, the, there's a reason why why I want to explain these scenes. This is the type of shit in this movie that fucking just got to me, you know? The fucking acting. The fucking acting. So young girl right here, I, we'll, we'll, we'll call her Hereditary. Her name's Hereditary. She's allergic to nuts. They established that early on in the movie. The mom forces the son to take her to the party. And and the son, I don't I don't even know if I've seen him in many movies. I've many movies I've seen him in that Dahmer movie, he was like Jeffrey Dahmer's best friend. That movie's trash. Don't watch that movie. So they get to the party. So what this dude does, he's like, hmm. There's that girl that I like from school. I'm gonna try to hit that shit. You know, I'm gonna go get high with her, you know, throw some bows. This shit's gonna be fire. That's what he tries to do. But he, you know, he has his little sister with him. Cock block of the century. I know that's what you're thinking, right? So he's like, hey, look, they're they're making cake over there. Would you like some cake? And she's like, they're not, that's not for me. They're not giving that to everybody. And he's like, yes, they are. You just gotta stand in line. But he didn't see they were chopping up nuts. They were throwing nuts in the cake. They were going nuts for nuts. You know what I mean? That's a lot of nuts! And he was, at the same time, he was going nuts for butts because he was trying to, he, his mind was on that ass. You know what I mean? So, little girl eats the cake. He's in the room getting high with a girl and, and her friends, right? All of a sudden, um, young Hereditary walks in and she's like, she's like, my throat feels funny. And he's like, what, are you okay? Her name was Charlie. That was her fucking name, Charlie. I'm still calling her Hereditary. So her throat's swelling up. She's about to fucking die if she doesn't get that fixed. So he, so it cuts to him getting her, getting her in the car, driving her off, and and he's panicking. He's just hauling ass, you know. And she can't breathe. She starts sticking her head out the window. And before you know it, they swerve. Her head hits a fucking telephone pole. Or, or a light pole or whatever. You, it's a fucking giant pole. Her head hits that pole and cuts that shit clean off. And dude just does some gnarly break and then it cuts to a wide shot of just, you could barely see him in the car and it's just like a, a night shadowy shot. It's just beautiful and they just stretch it for a while. And it gives you time to think like, holy fuck. What would you do in that situation? Dude just killed his fucking sister. He killed his sister. Like, how fucked of a situation that? There's no, you know, you know, there's, there's these horror movies where it's like the devil this, you know, uh, you know, uh, Jason hacks this bitch up, this and that, Freddy's Claw, all of that stuff is good stuff. But what's fucking scarier than killing your fucking sister? That's goddamn terrifying, dude, if you ask me. After, uh, after if, like, what seems as like an eternity of you just watching this kid just freeze up in his car, he just drives off. Sister's body in the back, her head in the fucking, just in the dirt. And he just drives home, goes to his room, and just lays there. He's not sleeping. You're probably never going to sleep after that. Probably ever. Your your sleep sleep no mas. You know what I mean? Lays in his fucking bed and he's just staring. And if I'm not mistaken, it just clicks to like daytime and then you hear his mom like, "Oh, I'll see you later, honey. I'm going somewhere." You hear her walk to the car and then you just hear fucking terrifying screams, man. Tony Collette could fucking scream and scare the fuck out of you. She's flipping out as she should. There's confusion. Her daughter's dead in the back seat. Uh, why is that? Why does she not have a head? Where's her fucking head? It's just the, the thought of it. Just the whole thought of it is what fucking just... Oh, horror movies are not supposed to be pretty. If they, if they give you a nasty feeling in your gut... I mean, so, sometimes it's just gross and you're like, Oh, that's not even 
creative. That's just making me sick. That's kind of kind of cheap. But if you're watching and then it's just like making you uneasy and you feel for these people, you actually that's a fucking movie right there. And that's this movie brings out so much in there. There's there's a scene, you know, later on where Tony Collette and 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 the son well, her, the son, and the dad are sitting there having dinner. And it's so tense because, again, her son killed her daughter. And now she just has to live with him. And she got hate in her heart from him, from that. And now she's just, you know, she's kind of giving him the stare down. And it just turns into this wild fucking monologue between both of them where it's just acting at its fucking finest. I, I, I just can't say enough about this fucking movie. Okay, I may have said too much, probably, but you know what you signed up for. And if you haven't seen this already, that's your fucking fault, dude. You should have, you should have been had to see this shit. You should have been had to see that shit. And that's hereditary. <laughs>